In this video, we will show you some of the more hidden features in Bluefish 223. Let's start Bluefish, load a project. One of the things that many users don't know is that you can select a block by dragging in the margin. A new thing in 223 is that you can move a selection, a selected block, by holding control and using the down arrow or the up arrow. Also something that many users don't know is if you have a selected text, you go to advanced search, it will automatically search in this selection. But if you just have a single word selected, you go to advanced search, it will actually search for this word. An area that has been approved a lot in Bluefish 223 is code folding. You used to have code folding already and it used to be possible to collapse all or expand all but now you can for example collapse all paragraph blocks and as you see here the paragraphs are collapsed but this HTML comment is not. Same works in a different language this is a C file and you can collapse all C style comments. Another thing you might have noticed is that the top HTML block is not foldable. It's also it's not useful to be, uh, to have it foldable, so you can disable this now. And it's de by default this is disabled. If you go to language support and generic HTML, you see here allow to fold the root HTML tag and it's disabled. There is many more new language options. Um, for example, in the C language there is a new option uh, autocomplete function names with semicolon. I can show you. If I just use the autocompletion, it's autocompleted including the semicolon. If I change this option where is it? Disable it. A restart is needed to see the effect of these options. So, okay. Project, save and close, save all, quit, restart. Where? Uh, there it is. If I try it again, it's auto-completed without the semicolon. There are also various other things that are configurable right now. For example, in font and colors, there is a cursor font ratio. Uh, if I enlarge it very much, and just look at the size of the cursor right now, it's I mean, this is useless fat, but it's very fat now. And apply. And now it's, again, it's a thin cursor. You can also highlight the cursor position. Apply. As you see here, there is a yellow block now surrounding the cursor position. All other colors in Bluefish are also configurable. Most of them are the syntax highlighting colors but a couple of them are special for example the fold header the green color is here is for folded blocks search results is this is what search results are highlighted with block match this is if you go uh, to the end of the block and the other side will be highlighted with this color so these are just configurable just like the syntax highlighting colors the last thing I would like to show you is the configuration of external commands it used to be that if you didn't want a command you just had to delete it. But right now you can just disable them if you don't like them. Just look in the tools, commands, they are not there. But if you later on decide you would like to have them, you can just enable them. And they're there again. Another thing is you can update the defaults. 
for the defaults are the options that are put in there by Bluefish. It's uh, the default configuration. And if you messed up your complete uh, uh, set of commands and you would like to reset everything, just click Reset All. So I just if I accidentally delete too much. I can just click Reset All and the complete default configuration for Bluefish is loaded. This is you also useful if you have a very old Bluefish configuration and your options here are a bit outdated. You can just either use update defaults or reset all to uh, get the most modern and uh, recent settings. This is it for now. I hope you liked it.